Boss, this war business you and Miller started, since the industry spread out to the PFs, it may have a favorable influence on Cypher. To a ruler, an everlasting enemy is convenient. By directing the public's animosity outside his borders, he can unify their frame of mind. Guns for hire continue the war, then enrich the economy with their spoils. War as a business will become a permanent tool for manipulating the public mind. A new business model. You might even call it a war economy. Before long, Cypher, or rather the Patriots, will be drawn to this. Probably only a few decades before it takes hold. It's not far off at all. Still no leads on Zero. We don't even know whether he's still alive. But the protocol he put in motion's making steady progress. Every day, Sigan's web covers a little bit more of the globe. Total information control. Big Brother Zero. And it'll happen before anyone even realizes. I don't like it. You're the big brother of the battlefield. You've earned a firm grip on the world's military power. But soon, Zero will have nations in his. He'll erase the Cold War, all war from people's minds, and with it, the world's borders. Zero's will, his influence, will be unleashed with nothing to stem the tide. When that happens, opposition will no longer match the lines on the map. And boss, with no borders left, what difference can we make? War will have lost any true meaning to the world. Just one more gear keeping the wheels of economy turning. Another product bearing down the capitalist conveyor belt. The future your friend Miller wanted. That's all there is in store. Perhaps it's already too late. But human will should only be handed down and nurtured by human hands. It can't be entrusted to the system. Especially not that soulless phantom that Zero's left in his wake. No matter what happens, we'll have to fight someday to reclaim our truth. Until next time, Big Boss. Someone has successfully struck at Zero. Since Zero's using a private network, we get information, but we have no way to trace his location. That means the details are still fuzzy at this point, but apparently some new bioweapon was used. As soon as he noticed the dip in his vital signs, he had his stomach pumped and even underwent blood dialysis. But he didn't fully recover. Ironically, if Zero kept more company, he'd have been safe. Since the incident, his speech and actions have been getting more unhinged by the day. He's probably been rushed to another safe house for intensive care. But the location is a complete mystery. That's the way he operates. He went to incredible lengths to make sure his great escape went unnoticed. So far, I know at least Langley and the Pentagon were involved. He had a blackout triggered in New York to disrupt the transportation and information grids, and at least two submarines were sighted off the coast. The personnel involved were working off a cover story. Naturally, the White House was fed the same thing. The project is buried under a pile of dummy ops and backup plans stretching across multiple organizations. It's safe to say not one of the people involved knew what they were moving or to where. All top secret. No trail, no leads. He's living up to his name as usual. Only this time, even I can't find him. Now the only record of his location lies within the cipher AI that was at the heart of the escape plan. And that's closed off, with its data sealed away in a secret location. Skullface was able to put together this assassination attempt, but even he can't possibly know where Zero is now. I'll keep searching, but when you're up against he who controls information, it's gonna be a long battle. Boss, it was Anderson after all. That's right, the man who went by Sigan during Operation Snake Eater. Following Zero's disappearance, he's taken over command of Cypher. Well, to be precise, the AI he oversees has. The idea to have an AI act for Zero came about in 74, when the data from the mammal pod penetrated NORAD. Clearly, an AI couldn't be allowed to make its own decisions. So they would take away its ability to act, and instead, create a specialized system in which the AI, bound by specific rules, filters the massive amounts of data it collects before passing it on to people. 
subtly guiding their decision making. A system of the people, by the people, for the people. So they began researching how to do it. DARPA apparently brought Strangelove on board to head it up. She was forced out after a certain incident. The direction of the project and any trace of her existence was scrubbed after her departure. Before Zero lost consciousness as his condition worsened, he left instructions for Anderson. Through a cutout, of course. Zero went out of his way to hide your location in order to keep you safe. This meant sacrificing his own protection. It was the only way to ensure you could stand alone as your own man. And here I am. The Close. only link between you and the world that's passing you by. I'm your last connection now. This was Zero's last request. His will. Once you're awake, we need to discuss the best way to ensure your safety. Oh, and they've got a name for Anderson's AI project. It's called The Patriots. It's all about ensuring that the concepts driving society appears the same in the mind of each person in that society. About maintaining the identity of the individual, and yet having that individual willingly make up part of the whole. I guess it's fitting to call that patriotism. Creating a united world. Zero's will is already fading into a shadow of what it once was. Systems, guidelines, rules, laws. When you take a mentality and fix it in a solid shape, put it out there in the hands of people, it can only begin to decay. No mentality can last forever. When the body dies, the will dies with it. <laughs>